Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good to be with you this morning. Welcome back once again to Traveling with Terry. Except this time, I'm already at the office. We got dumped on with a whole bunch of snow last night. We probably had, I don't know, four or five inches. So it was uh, kind of a dicey trip from my home to the office this morning. And so I thought I'd uh, take the higher road and instead of, uh, instead of uh, clicking on my video, uh, while I'm traveling and driving in my expedition on the way from home to office, I thought I'd just wait until I actually got to the office. So uh, anyway, this morning I wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you. There's the mighty, mighty Chad. Nice to see you. Good, Good morning. morning. Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> and to photo bomb your whatever you call it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so this morning I wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you on some strategies that you can use. One simple way that you can use to develop uh, solutions for complex problems. Now, uh, oftentimes you and I as entrepreneurs, as leaders, as salespeople, marketers, we're working with existing clients perhaps, or we're working with uh, employees and working inside of our company. And one of the challenges that we run into is sometimes the path forward when we run into a, we run into a problem, it gets a little murky. It gets a little confusing, 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 and we're unclear exactly what we need to do or how we need to do it. And I'll tell you a quick story that happened to me yesterday. So I'm on the I'm on a call with a, a brand new client that we are working with. And as you know, uh, three months ago, 90 days ago, my consulting and sales training company was acquired by a local digital marketing agency called Arcane Marketing here in uh, Southeast Idaho. And so as I'm working with them to develop some strategy for their uh, develop a strategy for their their marketing campaign, it was it. I started getting kind of confused. They had a lot of moving parts. They had a lot of moving pieces, and I wasn't exactly sure how how best to work with them or how best to serve them, what kind of marketing strategy to develop for them. And I had a temptation. There was a temptation in my brain that just said, just give them kind of the standard thing, just kind of do the run-of-the-mill standard thing. <clears throat> but then there was this other part of my brain that said, no, we need to figure this out. Don't just, you know, keep stay in the ring, keep fighting, don't give up, keep digging, keep digging. And so as we continued our conversation, as I asked more questions, and maybe I'll just kind of go into detail a little bit. They're a medical office that uh, caters to men over 40. Not that I'm in that target demographic by any means, stretch of the imagination, right? So, but they also offered some services for women. And so I was kind of confused. All right, so you're catering to men, but you're also catering to women. And, and, and you've got these various kinds of services, but they kind of intermingle and overlap. The questions that I was asking, they, they, they were themselves confused. They didn't know, they didn't know how, to, uh, how to set things up or how to create a, a good offer sequence or a good sales funnel process. Uh, so they were kind of confused. And, and, and I was kind of hitting a, a dead end or a kind of a brick wall with them. And uh, again, the temptation was to, to give up and just kind of give them a standard thing. But I thought, no, I, I need to figure this out. It's, it was kind of like a puzzle for me. And, and the puzzle pieces were not coming together very well. And the picture wasn't, wasn't becoming very clear. And so as a consequence, I, I, I kept asking questions until we kind of hit a breakthrough moment. Uh, we, we realized that, that they needed to create a sales funnel and a particular marketing campaign just for men, starting off with, uh, with, with one of their services and then progressing to the second and to the third. And finally, that sequence made perfect sense. We identified what sort of a, a bait that they needed, what sort of a lead magnet, how the flow and the structure needed to work, what kind of messaging was going to be needed to help attract more men over the age of 40 into their office for these, for these services. And then secondarily, we, sp we talked about the women, what their needs were. We created a good piece of marketing bait, a lead magnet that would attract them and bring them into the business and what they would sell first, second, third, fourth, and kind of a good cadence. We really developed a solid campaign that, um, uh, that, that made sense. Finally, the clouds parted and the sun came out and the vision and picture became very clear. And as a strategist, as an architect, as people, you, you and I, as, as, as entrepreneurs, when, when we are trying to solve complex problems in our business, either for ourselves inside of our own companies or on behalf of our clients, I, I realized and I was reminded of how important it is to diagnose, 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 diagnose. Oftentimes, we will be, we, we know what the problem is, 
but sometimes we don't know what's causing the problem. And we jump to some, some assumptions, we jump to some conclusions, and we're quick to develop a solution that really is ineffective. Or really, after we've implemented it, we realize it, it's not solving the root problem. It's not doing a good job at, 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 at taking care of the entire need there. And so when we rush to a solution, sometimes we cut ourselves short. And so I was reminded that, that you and I as entrepreneurs, as marketers, as salespeople, as account managers and customer service, whatever our, our position is, we can't rush to solution mode. We can't jump to conclusions and assumptions until the picture is perfectly clear. Now, my wonderful wife of 21 years, we celebrate 21 years of marriage uh, coming up in March, March 3rd. If you want to send us an anniversary gift, you're welcome to, don't have to, but I tell you what, yeah, you're welcome to. Uh, anyway, uh, she, she loves puzzles. We have a whole bunch of puzzles. We have a special table in our living room that's set up just behind one of our couches. She's got a lamp, she's got a chair there, and, uh, and she loves nothing more than to lay out these thousand piece puzzles. And she's diligent. And my kids have picked up the, uh, my kids have picked up the bug and they're starting to get into, into puzzles too. Do you like puzzles? Are you a puzzler? I am not. I, I don't have the time or the patience for that sort of thing, but she, loves them. But what's interesting about puzzles is obviously as you as you as you pick up a piece and you're looking for where it goes, if you can't find its home, the temptation is to lay it aside and and, and wait until another time. And sometimes that's a good strategy. But but you know the puzzle without putting the puzzle pieces together in the right way, the picture never becomes clear. And when it comes to problem solving for our clients, developing strategies or working on initiatives inside of our company, we got to stay in the game. We got to finish diagnosing. We got to we got to really dig, do research and put all the puzzle pieces together so the picture is clear. And once the picture is clear, boy, oh boy, the solution becomes very, very self-evident. There's kind of that internal timer, that internal ding that goes, ding, you, you made it. And you kind of have that settled, calming, reassuring feeling that You've got all the facts in the picture. Is The picture is clear, and, and this is great. This is the path forward. So have that at the end of our conversation, and I love it, love it, love it when I finish up client conversations, putting together marketing strategies for them, that when the call is over, the path is clear, the vision is clear, the solution is clear, all the systems and all the pieces and all the elements align beautifully, just like a perfect puzzle. And so anyway, I challenge you and all of us to not move forward with a solution until the path is crystal clear. If there's any ambiguity, if there's any lack of clarity whatsoever, stay in the game, continue to diagnose, continue to ask questions, continue to fact find, continue to do research until you've got all of the variable variables, they all line up, you can see the beginning from the end and the path is clear and then move forward with your solution. Otherwise, you are destined to implement something that is short-sighted and not going to work. So anyway, great to be with you guys this morning on Traveling with Terry. It's, there's not much traveling. I'm already here at the office, but uh, great to be with you. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. And if you're here local or wherever you might be around the country, I hope you're not slipping and sliding in the snow too bad. It's wet, it's miserable, and uh, stay safe out there. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Did you know every company out there has what we call digital marketing blind spots? These are simple, hidden opportunities for growing and improving your marketing that most of the time people miss. Go to www.arcanemarketing.com and take advantage of our Rise and Ignite digital marketing analysis. It's 100% free to get fresh new insights and ideas to make what you're already doing that much better in 2021.